What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So the Luigi Do My Class just got the change on the testing server. You can purchase it if you're a member and you want to test out the new Legion Doom Knight class. If you're not a member and you still want to see if the class is better or what, we're on the testing server of course because that's why the change was implemented. On the normal servers the class is still really good and this is a new version of the class. I think the only name they gave it is New Legion Doom Knight. Uh, if you have the old one you keep that and it stays the same. And it'll be really bad when the testing server becomes the live server and you can't go on the old servers anymore. That's why they made this class. Let's get into the video. Alright, let's first talk about enhancements. If you click on the class in your inventory, they suggest enhancements. So I went with hybrid, full hybrid. We're using everything enhanced hybrid, cape, helmet, weapon, and class are all enhanced hybrid level 65 on the testing server. So that will tell you what I'm using. Uh, we might try it out with luck because that was the previous enhancement, although they don't recommend it. And we might test it out with full fighter also. So first thing I noticed when I equipped the class was the skills are different. Now I knew that the animations were different, but they completely changed the skill icons as well. So let's go get this class to rank five and then we'll look at it. I don't know if it has a rank 10 passive yet, but we'll see. Remember to equip class point items. They stack on the testing server, unlike the live servers. So if you have multiple items that help you farm class points, you can stack them and you can get the class to rank five or 10 a lot faster. All right, I got the class to rank five. Now there is a rank 10 passive. Uh, the passive is on the Zynos. It's Doom Armor, the same as the old rank 10 passive, but they changed it from 10% uh, armor to 8% damage resistance and 8% endurance. So it went from 10% damage resistance to 8% endurance and 8% damage resistance, which will help the class more than the old one. At least I think, I think more endurance. It's overall more. Of resistance so that should be good now let's go to pirates and let's test this out because we always test on pirates all right let's quickly go over the skills uh just to explain them really quickly uh they haven't really changed that much but some of the animation has changed and there are slight adjustments to them of course um so this will uh, let your opponent take more damage do less damage and you do more damage and it stacks up to 15. so the second skill will take health from your opponent and the lower your health is the more that will heal you for the force skill it will do a large amount of damage applying torment for five seconds and reducing your opponent's haste in his chance by a small amount for five seconds and the best skill by far the fifth skill the one with the new animation that everyone loves doom hastens and the legion beckons so this a strike for a large damage and hastens your opponent's doom Dealing a huge dot for 15 seconds, also adding the decay for 10 seconds, preventing your opponent from healing, and a small bonus to your hit chance for 8 seconds. This is nutty. This is probably a focus for PvP, would be my guess. And also on the testing server, enemies heal. So we might be able to show this on this little guy, but probably not. No. Uh, but higher level enemies do heal. So being able to prevent your enemy, even if it's not an actual player in PvP from healing, is actually a big deal on the testing server. And being able to do that for 10 seconds uh, is pretty nutty. That'll win a lot of fights and make killing enemies a lot faster on the testing server. And just to clarify, if I haven't already, I am on the testing server with full hybrid enhancements, if I haven't clarified that already. And also, if I haven't mentioned this already, this class will eat your mana if you are using the skills very liberally. Um, 30 mana for your nuke, you got 20 mana for that one, another 25 mana for your heal, and for your stack it's 15 mana, the 4 second cooldown on the stack, and auto attack has about average of 2 seconds for the auto attack. So, let's try out the class on a 72,000 health level 45. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is use this skill and heal when necessary and using your nuke when you have some extra mana left over. Uh, so we can prevent him from healing by using our fifth skill. There's the animation, the really sick brand new animation. And we hit our three skill, hopefully get a little bit of health back. You wanna wait till your health is a little bit lower until you use the three skill. So I'm gonna wait till I go around 500 health. 
uh, to hit a heal. So there we go. And we're going to hit heal. And it didn't heal for that much, to be honest. So we're spamming our two skill right now, which might not be a good move. Because we don't have enough mana for that heal. Which costs 25 mana. With 23 mana. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got a little bit of heal. It's not healing a lot, to be honest. I'm using hybrid enhancements. And uh, we just died there. We were we couldn't really use any other skills because we were out of mana. I don't know, man. Um, I, I don't know if I... Maybe I shouldn't be spamming my 2 skill when I'm in a fight like that. But I'm new to this class. Is, is, uh, I'm very new to this class at the moment. Alright, so I threw two level 65 fighter enhancements on this class. Hopefully that helps. I don't know. Let's just try it on a normal pirate 5k health level 40. So, using my 2 skill, then I'm going to use my 4 skill, then my 5th skill. And we don't need to heal. I'll keep using my 2 skill. Maybe I'll hit a 4. Alright, so I think spamming your 2 skill is really not what you want to be doing with this class because you want to save that mana. So uh, it looks like Fighter Enhancement is actually doing uh, quite a bit more damage also uh, compared to not using Fighter. So this is 2 Hybrid, 2 Fighter. I'm using Fighter on my armor and my cape, or my class and cape and helmet and sword are both Hybrid right now. So let's look at the stats really quickly. They look completely different on the testing server if you haven't seen this already. There's like a bunch of like analytical stats like crit modifier, crit chance, hit chance, dodge, resist modifier, uh, resist chance, parry modifier. There's parry on the testing servers now. You'll see that sometimes red text, dot out, dot in. I don't know what dot out and dot in is. Now heal out is 1.0425. I don't know what that, I don't know what heal out means. I don't know what most of this, stuff, I don't know what mana cost one means. Maybe they'll clarify these, um, what these numbers mean. Physical out is all one. I don't, I don't get what any of those numbers mean, to be honest. Uh, completely new to those. Someone would have to explain what all those numbers mean. So 72,000 health. Let's try it again. Uh, but we're not going to spam two skill this time. We're going to, like, use our four, five, and three skill as, uh, as they come. But I think one, two skill is good because it reduces his damage output. Let's use a fifth skill. Just reduce healing. It does take up a lot of mana, but I think it'd be worth it. It's a four skill. All right, I popped a three skill there. That was a bad move. Just four skill again. Fifth skill. That huge nuke's only doing 700 damage. It said huge damage. I mean, it's a dot skill, so we're doing 100 dot. Maybe Wiz Enhancement would be better for this class. Here we go. We healed a few hundred health there. I mean... The stats kind of back it up a little bit. Can I move that? I can't move that. Um, but like it does have, well, actually not really. I probably shouldn't be using Wiz on here. So we could have healed there and stayed alive, but we would have died inevitably anyway. This is probably not a class for Soloig. I, I probably shouldn't be using it for that. I mean, if you had a healer, this class would destroy in Soloing because of its skills. Uh, if you had someone to give you some health. But either the heal's too weak or just something, or maybe I'm just using it wrong. Maybe it is a solo in class and someone in the comments can tell me how that's attainable. Uh, with my current enhancements, it's not doing too well at that. So let's hit two skill, let's hit four skill, and let's hit five skill. So this class really, I don't know, maybe it's just a testing server. These pirates have a lot of endurance on the testing server or something like that. But it seems like they're not, it's not doing as much damage as I would like it to. Um, compared to the old one with luck, like you're hitting 2k auto attack, well not auto attacks, but you hit 2k crits, right? Basically on your auto attack with luck on the old testing server, or on the old server I mean, and not on the testing server. But it seems like now, like, ah, these monsters, you see these monsters got a lot stronger on the testing server, or they just didn't buff the class enough, or change the class, uh, to make it do damage like the old class did. And there's a dot on the class now, which is very odd. But, you know... Actually, there might have been a dot on the old Legion Doom Knight. It's been a while since I used old Legion Doom Knight, but I did use it recently for a video uh, to compare it. So it does seem to be doing okay against level 40 mobs with 5,000 health, but I really, no, that's really not what we're trying to kill with the classes these days. Uh, let's go find something a little bit more challenging. All right, I'm here in Battlegrounds. This mob is level 35 with 25k health, so less, less health, of course, but more levels which usually means like they do more damage and other things like that i don't know why i hit my heal there that was a bad move for skill wow i'm just getting straight up destroyed 
I should probably be saving mana for heal at the moment. Looks like I really need it. That heal did nothing. The heal is absolutely garbo, dude. It heals for like 200 health when you have no health left. Like, I had 200 health, and I'm pretty sure it healed me for like 100 or 200 health right there. I wonder if we can see heal stats. There's no way to like... I wish there was a stat for the output of damage and stuff. Like, a log of your damage and heal and all that stuff. And like, your dodge and everything. Like, it shows like, dodge, damage, uh, heal. Like, it showed like the stats in the list. That'd be a cool addition to the testing server. Like, it could be in... It could be like a log, like a damage log. Or, okay, um, that's just an idea for anyone that's watching. Is the new Legion Doom Knight a good class? I, fuck, I, honestly, I don't know because it's, I'm trying this on the testing server. So, we could quickly go over the live server and test on there, but this class is not made for the live server. So, I think that would just be a waste of everyone's time involved. This class was designed uh, explicitly for the testing server because Legion Doom Knight uses the luck skill. And the Lux skill is getting a huge nerf on the testing server. Already already has a huge nerf on the Lux, on the testing server. So if you try to use the old Legion Doom Knight with Luck on the testing server, it does similar damage to this class, to be honest. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I gotta use like full fighter enhancements. Tell me your enhancements in the comments down below. I'm probably using the class wrong or something like that. I I normally am. Uh, but that's my thoughts and opinion on the new class. What do you guys think of it? Uh, do you, are you gonna get it when it comes out? I I'm pretty sure it's available for Legion tokens. So the Legion members will be able to get this class. So here we go. You can buy it with 2k ACs. You get the item immediately or farm for the class uh, by completing a quest. Uh, that quest is really easy. It's just farming a drop. And 2k Legion tokens. So you can get for 2k Legion tokens. Which is really not too unobtainable. Uh, so are you going to farm for it? Are you going to buy it for ACs? I, I wouldn't recommend buying this for ACs in its current state. And of course, this is a test for the class, so it could change between now and release. Uh, they could make the heal a little bit better. They could make the damage a little bit higher. I don't know. It just seems like it's not doing enough damage compared to classes I'm used to. And maybe that's intentional. I don't know. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Peace.